uh, go. What? Start talking. What, now? Yes, you start talking when the little red light appears. Well, how the hell am I supposed to know that? Just go. Fine. Hello, I'm General Mayhem of the Delonian Army. In case you haven't guessed by now, I'm not really up on all this fancy technology of the internet and cameras and TV. Bunch of useless time wasters, if you ask me. Well? Well what? Keep going. Oh, I thought you were supposed to cut or something. But, okay, I'll keep going. Apparently, the producers of Froggy Rants... I still can't believe that idiot got his own show. Good God. Well, apparently it takes some time to put one of his shows together because of all the research they have to do. So, in between some of those long waits, they'll be having me come out here and educate some of you hippie idiots out there as to how to conduct yourselves. You know, some basic etiquette rules and manners. You young whippersnappers are in some dire need of education in that area. Everything from driving to what the 10 item or less line is. So basically anytime one of you morons pisses me off, I'm going to come out here and tell you why you're an asshole and how to avoid being an asshole in the future. Like when I'm in a parking lot or at a crosswalk and I stop my car to let you across and you drag your ass getting from one side to the other. Come on, people, pick up the pace. Be courteous to other people. I want to get out of your way, so get the hell out of mine. Idiots. Anyway, today I'm talking about the 10 item or less line. Okay, in Walmart, it's like 20 items. But follow the damn rules, people. Rules are there for a reason, for your safety or for your convenience or for general courtesy. When you unload 50 items, you're holding me up when I only have four. And it's even worse when the HEBs or the Walmarts, Kmarts, or whatever marts just ring them up anyway. I mean, really, what the hell is the point of having an express line if you're going to let anyone go through it? And look, 10 cans of cat food don't count as one item, you miserable, ignorant twat. You can't say that. I just did. We're going to have to beep it. Well, then beep it. It's not my problem. I have a right to say whatever the hell I want. And damn, your feeble, delicate, snowflake, easily offended brain. Here, watch this. Piss <laughs> See, I'm in the military, son. I know words you don't even know whether you should beep or not. Just, just go. Damn right I'm gonna go. Where was I? Oh, right. Now look, I'm not going to be like some pansy-ass liberal Democrat who's going to whine and bitch and moan about something and expect the government to do something about it. I'm going to leave it up to the people. I'm going to tell you how to fix the damn problem. And I'm going to do that with all of these things. You want to know how to fix the express lane problem? First of all, you megalomart bastards, you need to start installing software that stops ringing up at 11 or 21 items. That's it. It just stops. Then the cashier can grab all the rest of the crap, scoop it up, and dump it into a big basket then they drop punt the damn thing across the store. You advertise an express lane, then take the damn thing seriously. And none of this 40 items and then paying twice. There's nothing express about that. And look, I really support you teaching your children about money and commerce and how the economy works. But don't have your 10-year-old son paying for his silly putty with his pennies from his piggy bank in the damn express lane. It's rude and it's inconsiderate and it teaches him to waste other people's time. It's like you bastards with a Lone Star card who buy milk and bread and eggs with your food stamps and then right behind it you pay cash to pay for a six-pack of some import beer that James Bond would think is expensive. You're a blight in society and you don't deserve to have that beer. In fact, that's probably why you're on food stamps in the first place. Oh, what? Too real for you? Why are the hell are you potheads so determined to not have drug tests for your welfare checks? Off topic. No politics, remember? Hell, that's not politics. It's common sense. Scratch that. Common decency. But fine. Let's stick to the express line. Another thing you can do is have a big-ass siren that goes off when you reach 21 items. Spotlights beam down and a loudspeaker announces that you're a selfish prick. Hey, Kmart, you got one of those blue lights, don't you? How about getting some red or green lights at your registers and start flashing those sons of bitches when some fat bastard with 25 cans of bean dip and a tub of port wine cheese and 12 six-packs of generic diet soda tries to slip through the 10-item or less line? Don't want to obey your own damn rules? Fine. It'll be left in our hands then. Next time someone in front of you has obviously more than 20 items, say something, damn it. What, you're afraid some asshole's gonna turn around and shoot you? So what? Die for something you believe in. That's what's wrong with today's society. I mean, if you're so afraid of dying, you must have a pretty good life, right? Then why are you bitching about how shitty the country is? Damn it, I love this country and I'll die to protect it and preserve it. I'm just talking about standing up for what you believe in. You know damn well you're going to get to the car all pissed off wishing you had said something. So damn it, say something, write a letter, make a video, do something, damn it. Don't just take it. That's why these bastards get away with it and they're laughing at you and bragging to their friends about it. Oh, and don't fall for the little old lady routine. Those old bats know exactly what you're thinking and what they're doing. Don't believe the old, oh, I'm sorry, this little old lady. He just didn't know any better. Yeah, we'll call the old bat on her bull. 
Some old broad tried that crap on me when she cut me off and merged into my lane at a left turn in an intersection. I was lucky enough to be going to the same place she was, and I confronted her in the parking lot. She tried arguing with me that it was a one-turn lane. I pulled up Google Maps and showed her the damn intersection with the two-turn lanes. Then she went into little old helpless lady mode. Well, needless to say, she wound up apologizing, and now she knows better. Old Bat won't do that again. So stand up and say something. Call the manager over, point her out, and say, hey... Everyone, this person has 40 items in the 10 item or less lane. Embarrass the hell out of them. Let them know that there's a price for breaking the rules. If that doesn't work, then tell the manager you won't be shopping there anymore if they ever do it again. Tell them how much you spend there. Raise a fuss, and then for the love of God, stick to your guns. Don't go there for a whole year, at least. I had bad service at a TGIF back in 2001, and I haven't been back to one since. Have some principles and self-respect, damn it. I, um... I thought you said you didn't understand technology. What? You you used Google Maps? That's modern technology and GPS and stuff. Oh, fuck you. <laughs>